Welcome to Ethiopia Today. Our topics for today's presentation is the following. U.S. Don't Steal or Stop Preaching Against. On Thursday, November 25, 2021 Ethiopians protest against the United States by marching to the embassies of U.S. and U.K. in the capital Addis Ababa. It was a bit of surprise and unexpected from the viewpoint of the respective embassies. The demonstrators were chanting that U.S. and partners to stop backing up the terrorist and disseminating scary and disturbing false news. At the same time, the government of Ethiopia has warned the United States for the same. The false information deliberately spread in a bid to put pressure on publicly backed and democratically elected government. This was also confirmed by the chief of the TPLF in the West, Ambassador Bahane Bakristos on a recently conducted secret diplomatic meeting. Bakristos said that they desperately need huge pressure on the government of Ethiopia by the West. According to the government spokesman Dr. Kebedi de Sisa, Ethiopia's war is not only against the terrorist TPLF but also with colonialism of the powerful states of the West. Some people were outraged this week when a U.S. embassy security message warned its citizens of possible terrorist attacks in the country. The U.S. has repeatedly told its citizens to leave immediately, warning there will be no Afghanistan-style evacuation if the war's chaos reaches the capital. The U.S. and the West are using every means on their disposal to support traitors of Ethiopia and its people. They are deploying their every weapon to weaken the country and its patriots. They are in deep partnership with the terrorist TPLF. Terrorist for the U.S. is when someone performs attack on its interests. They don't bother even if thousands of attacks happened on the interests of other nations. America labeled the likes of Al-Qaeda, Islamic State, Al-Shabaab as terrorist organizations because these groups are causing severe threats on their, or the interests of the West. The terrorist TPLF launched attack on the Ethiopian National Defense Force on November 3, 2020. They inhumanly and cowardly murdered thousands of army forces and also committed the Mayakadra genocide which also claimed the lives of thousands of civilians. The terrorist group TPLF exploited Ethiopia and its resources for nearly three decades and finally chosen to destroy the nation. They attacked on Ethiopia and its interests. The Ethiopian parliament referred and used the same definition of terrorism that the U.S. has been using to designate terrorist organizations. The only difference between the 9-11 attack and the TPLF's attack of the 11-3rd is the country where it was committed. The 9-11 is for America the 11-3rd is for Ethiopia. This is the truth which must be protected by all those who love the truth. The U.S. action is like someone who seemed to be sleeping but not actually and it gives hard for the other person who is trying to wake him up as he is doing the full sleep purposely. America knew everything but doesn't want to listen the cries of Ethiopia and its people for such a long time. We assume that there must be some sort of conspiracy behind the TPLF's attack. The US must be aware of this attack before it happened. Our assumption follows a very straightforward logic comes directly from the US's intimate friendship with the terrorist TPLF. It is natural to get an advice from the best friend before taking any huge action of that magnitude. This is instinct that comes naturally. We don't want to go any further from this but here is our message for the US leaders. Why are you stealing and yet preaching against it? Don't steal or stop preaching against. Don't commit the act of terrorism or stop the fight against terrorism by listening the cries of Ethiopia and its people globally. Leave Ethiopia alone, for God's sake. Learn the 3,000 years of this nation that perfectly knows how to deal with its own problem. Oh sorry for our misinformation, we didn't create the problem. But it is only happening in Ethiopia, fabricated somewhere else. However, Ethiopians are well equipped with to sort this out as it is their home and must be cleaned and tidy up regardless of who or where the mess created. May God bless Ethiopia and its people. Many thanks our followers for your time. Please give us a like, and share this to others so that the message is reached out to many as much as possible. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and tap the notification icon and be the first to know when we upload new videos. 
and also feel completely free to comment keeping the community guidelines of the platform in mind. Thanks again.